Panty tums, panty pies. You simply won't get tinier. Peens. Not quite peas. Not quite beans. But something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Come on down to Woody's... Come on down to Woody's Bread Hall, where we have an ample variety. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs. Family. Romance. Pit. Visit Bansworth. It's great good. So that's Bansworth. Strange place, I know, but they need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today. So don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out! Carol, I'm going to need another top-up of the leaden. Yes, it happened again. Good grief, lad. The front door is right there. We're ten stories up for crying out loud. isn't open. I'm sorry, sir. They closed this morning. Because this dolt has lost my keys. Now, we've got to wait for that useless locksmith. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Meg. Ooh, what am I like? Ooh, Colin, if... you are the most work shy fop I've ever had the misfortune to employ. Ooh. Close the day. The problem is chicken. Asked me to clean up this little rose guard. You can start by getting on that mower. Oh. 
That is a fine statement. My wife could live a thing or two. Ooh. Nice firm grip on that mower, lad. I tell you, Reggie's wife could oh, learn dear. a thing or two. Oh. How do you do, young man? Almost done, Ooh. and then I can finally get home to my puzzle. Well, I guess no breakfast for me. I love puzzles. You don't tend to let you live around here, though. should come around sometime. We live underground, in soil and that. Anyway, I must be off. I've got some worms to suck up into my big mole mouth. Morning. <laughs> All right, give it a tug. Mm. Ah. Oof. How about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint, then? It's like a normal pint, but I take both my shoes off. Ah, uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few barrels about? Slim chance of that. I don't even know how to get downstairs. Well, you don't, there, lad. Give those barrels a shake-up, won't you? Ah, nothing like a nice wet pipe to start the day. Every morning I wake up, kind of lager, then I do a big wee. Then I get out of bed and uh, go downstairs for my morning bite. You know, you need to... Ah, Larry! We were just talking about my morning bite. I think I'll take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. Another morning bite coming up. You working today, then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm supposed to be at Meg's already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning bite. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on, then. Let's bore you a bite and all. On the house. Hot Ron is a character. He'll be back later, I reckon. Whoa! Ooh. One small with vigor! <laughs> it, it's no use! Poor Charlie. I hope he gets that tuppence. Mrs. Meg, 
My mum's got me back on the Mercury again. Give me strength. Oh, you found me. I'm the fridge stoat, and I'm awfully frigid. Ah, uh, no, I just... I'm actually the town bowl, if you catch my meaning. seen a hole as big as that before. Yes, Marge. I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry, usually. Oh. Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishman get pissed down at the market. You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money in town. No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Suit yourself. Keep both toes on the brake. Hands at half past seven. Never so gently, put your best foot forward. Oh, that's okay. I couldn't get it quite right my first 48 times either. It's nothing like walking this. Oh, 
The council says we've got to get these dogs buried by end of day. Uh, that's just what we call lame pipes, which is what we call shagging. Hello there. I've got a sausage here. Would you like it? Here you go. Ah, I've dropped it. That's okay. I've got another. Ah, I've dropped it again. It's all right. I've got some more inside. Back in a moo. What have we got here then? A toad and the owl. Don't worry, little fella. I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. <coughs> Over there, young man, help yourself to. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning. I haven't got a drop out of it. Little Samantha here has only crossed it over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. She needs a drink, lad. She's drier than Meg's fruitcake. Ooh, fuck, Bobby. You know, I love cucumbers, but I cannot stand a snail. Every time I put one in my mouth, I'm nearly sick. When you do me a favour, if you see any snails, give them a clip round the ear hole for me. Come on, get into it, big time. Now I'll be. But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Oh, why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. <laughs> How embarrassing. Cracking work, lad. This girl's never looked better. Have you heard about Big Ron's? What's he done? Oh, no well, pies. hold on. No Me pie. fish pop. I know, that's what's this about then? On a Thursday morning, no less. On a Thursday morning? What are you going to do? Oh, I don't know, buddy. I am not see. Ah, of course you do. Why don't you ask your bevel to make you one? Ah, oh, I suppose they do with that jar of mustard that needs to Well, there you go then. I'll be round at six. Well, you're not. Doug's the name. Rugs are the game. I can't believe that big one. No more, I guess. Hello. Oh, hi.
very handsome, my dog. Yeah, you can have any of that. Ah, uh, Karen won't be needed on where she's oh. gone. Ben and dum. Big pies, tiny pies. All I need is my burger. <laughs> What a mess! Five across, a thick rope of wire. Oh, my big bag! Oily babs, get them fresh, get them warm, get them moist. No breakfast, and now no lunch. What's he doing in there? Oh, oh my goodness, you're here. You better get yourself in here now. Who oh, no, fights on Tuesdays? Oh, come on, come on, come on! It's urgent! Oh, you've come just in the nick of time! I came in as usual, opened up shop, counted till, went to make my first buy of the day, and then I realised we've no meat! I can't make a pie without meat! It's the second most important ingredient! Oh, I hate to say it. But you'll have to get down to Sam's Hams and pick us up some of his steak. Oh, a sorry state indeed. Florence! Get that oven warmed up for when this young man comes back. Yes, of course, Mr. Warren. Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you. Has he got any pies? Oh, Billy, I knew you'd do yeah. this. Yeah. Oh. Looks like we didn't need that hose after all, lad. Right, so all we need now is fertilizer. Do I smell quail? Oh, I see. Pause but a tomato. More for me. Dirty love, Herbert. Dirty love. Hey, bees, there's some really good looking fish in here. That one's got a nice Ah, the dingle room. A most invasive and hostile flower. Even slightly agitated, it will burst and scatter the sea. Fortunately, the stars will be destroyed. Some wisdom for you. Never give an owl a towel. I can't seem to understand it. I pick up all the litter and I put it in a bag. And then, next thing I know, it's blooming everywhere. I'll never make puzzle that at this rate. Still, I do love litter. Both of my dads were diggers, but they're always spades. Knocking about the house. Oh, hello there, 
young man. Thank goodness you're here. My drain pipes are all blocked up over there, and I need them cleaning out. Won't you give it a go? Great job! It's only Nancy's new bloody boyfriend. She's got a new one every week. All right. It'll be nice to have a proper sit-down tea. I'd rather have a sit-down wee. Oh, yeah. I don't know, love. We have got bricks at home. Ooh, good make, though. Bring back asbestos. It's fine. Do you think it's possible to dual wheel drunchers? You found this spanner. Aye, Kraken work reclaiming my spanner from that despicable fishmonger. Unfortunately, I've just noticed my screwdriver's gone missing too. It's probably that daft lassie, Kerry, down at Price Shaggers. Right, away you go, laddie. I can't get into this thing without my trusty screwdriver. Sure about Mr. Bish, though. I'll not be buying from him again. Is that fire still broke? Oh. I get lonely sometimes. Don't put your rubbish in my bin. I won't. Monkey pup. Somebody must have laid them down from the roof. Can you fetch us that box of rat poison from top shelf? I've been on my best behaviour. I deserve a treat, not a mouse. Bumble is all branch. Got a bit of a rat for a bullet. 
Kerry Louise Pickle. Passing off my flathead as your produce, is it? Yes, but why on earth would I do that? I can't turn my back for a minute in this town without one of you pinching my tools. I swear down, I've never seen this before in my life. Ah, you likely story. I'll be filing a complaint with the head office, that's for sure. Hey, anyway, back to the chippo with us. You're right with you, Jasper. Anyway, thank you for that, kiddie. Yep, no. Don't put your bin in my bin. Eh? I don't know. Hello, Aye, thanks for helping me get the screwdriver back, laddie. I wish I could say we were done, lad, I really do. But as I got back, I noticed my hammer's gone walkies. He must have been pinched by that no-good yob, Frank. He's probably doing at the brook, poaching fish as we speak. Her and her sister were so lucky when they used to babysit him. Very far from those pickle sisters. Come on, I'll eat them raw. So we'll have to have a little look through the window. Don't put me in your bin. Quick in head, black in lung. Smoking's best when you start it young. Expect to see you twice in one day. Go on here. Hold him still, Turpin. Apparently, he's going to Sam's for his rum. Never. They are luscious, though. Well, ah, they are luscious. No disagreement there. But another... Well, well. I never thought I'd see the day where the big man would come to me for his meat. Come up here and have a do on this thing. Took it at Knackers that very same evening, and I wept. When I was 
scarcely three years old. My father, mistaking me for a small cut of venison, hung me out in smokehouse. It was nearly a day dangling all the embers before my sisters found me. By then, I was already stricken with a black lung. The doctor said I shan't likely see my twelfth summer, and I wept. One dark winter's night, my father brought me and my sisters a lamb each, and put a single sheep knife between us. Mine, the runt of the litter, jolted as I made the cut. It bleated and bled for a fortnight, and I wept. to do is... What? I've forgotten the most important ingredient! Bimex. Here we are. I'm sure there's the number in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Pastry Preets Premium Mixture Company Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies dot biz. Pastry Preets Premium Mixture Company Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies dot biz. Horrible raw. All right, lad. The number is... Oh... One, two, another two, six. Hello, this is Pasty Pete's Premium Pasty Pastry Mix. Colin, is that you? Oh, hello, Mr. Ron. Yeah, Pasty Pete's off today. He's took Auntie Margaret down to Guernsey. So you've forgotten my pie mix then? Oh, no. I'm ever so sorry, Mr. Ron. My memory's not been so good since my mum put me back on the business. Well, you better bring us three big mixed boxes post haste! Yes, uh, I'll be right over. Oh, there you are, Colin! Here you go, Mr. Ron. I came as fast as I could. Ooh, blaring! What the show? Oh, hello, Colin. I had no idea you were in the pie industry. I see. Oh, yes. I've always wanted to work with Crush. Oh, young love. You're looking extra sweaty today, Colin. Thanks. It's actually butter. Slippy. Super slippy. You should see me get down at Ginnell. I'm like a whippy. I love whippies. Really? They're skinny. The doctor said it was a very similar bone. Oh, oh dear. Um, right. Remember miss the one? Yes, Florence? Does the pie machine usually fill the shop with big blooms of black smoke? It doesn't matter now, Florence. Enough, Enough for, for everyone. everyone. Send down to Big Ron's, where we've made our biggest pie yet! Big Ron, how big is the pie? It's a pie so big, you could feed a family of five for 40 years, and you'd still have enough for supper. It's a pie so big, you'd get lost in it. It's a pie so big, I have dreamt of it since I was a small boy. A pie so big, that I feel as if I have been finding my way. Now, look, I know you've told me before, but why can't you just, well, you know, make your pies a bit bigger? been tipped off that someone said I count of the goods for sale. Good at the market. What a Karen would have wanted. Such a good buy. Herbert's gonna have a right job on getting fertilizer with Roger in this state. It's the meat in the bun of the burger oh, time. Oh, weenie sausage meal. Blooming heck.
Brad. He's gone oh. bonkers. Oh. Rog, relax yourself. You're making a mess of the place. Get out! What the devil's gone oh. into you, man? I never even yeah. mentioned your massive head. What? It isn't massive. Try it out, wow, Rog. There's no shame in it. Oh. What? He's gone as mad as a oh. black pie on a... I'm sorry, Mr. Peelings. We did everything we could. Was it all right? Violets are blue. Roger's got a big head and he's a massive belly. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Pillings, that pool isn't going to pay itself. Sorry, mister. It's company policy. Peas, not five peas, not five peas. Well, something special. Never mind them, love. <laughs> I like it. I can't keep pretending anymore, Roger. It's just too big! Ooh. It's just too big. Too big. That won't fit. No. Extra, extra large. Too big. This is a family restaurant. Too big. Too big. It's just too, too big. 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 Right then, Rog. I'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that's over. That can't stand a fuss. Yeah. I've never liked to look a clock in the face. Hang on a minute. These watches are painted on. What are you going to mean to hear my breath? Bring me beans or bring me death! I'm Wiggity Beanton, hey my plea. I summon my six gulls back to me. Uh... That didn't work. Go find them.
Vamos a palada. Yeah, one size fits small then. Okay. Make me another tease. Dear old dear young lad, looks like we've just missed him. Excellent work, cabin boy. You retrieved my finest lieutenants. There's a bright future ahead of you on this ship. Attention! Hang on a minute. These coasters are one way. Very strange. Kick that. And it's fine now. Big second hand furniture, never used. Chairs, lamps, doors, and boys. this now. They're both in the bin. I used to go to Bishes, but my doctor says that Brian will give me go. Hello again. I've got some more sausages and I'm going to poke them through the hole. Here we go. Oh. That's alright. Here's the oh. One more. Here ah, oh, drop that one too. I'm afraid I've run out of sausages now. I'll go to the shop and buy some more. Folding on the way down. Go! 
Oh, you, you little, you little dusty gentleman, you. Come on, let's get her open. Steady as you go. My beautiful baby boy. And bigger than I thought. Daddy? Daddy? Cream of the crop. Uh, bother you, old chew stick. You nearly scared me soft. What can I do you for? Sorry to bother you, Herbert. There's been reports of crime in the area. Shit! That's right. Have you seen this criminal at all? Hang on a minute. That's no criminal. That's the honest businessman who sold me this brand new watering can. I'm afraid that's no businessman. That's bootleg, Bill. And that's no watering can. That's a watering can. Bugger me. I paid ten bob sterling for that. It happens to the best of us, Herbert. Just last week, he swindled my wife with a wet dream catcher. So keep your eyes peeled, your head on a swivel, and a Johnny on your button. Now I'll need to take this down to the station. Good grief, this town is going to the dogs. You better keep an eye out, lad. Call the fire department, tell them old Charlie's got himself stuck in the well again. They'll know what it means. Shut up and have spoon. Are you ready to give out with fishing? That's bait box. Ah, good idea. You can go in and all. Did you see that bird earlier? That's our bird jacket. Ah, uh, Bubba Boss is at some far from. He couldn't get the full custom saw. He had to pretend he was a pen. Oh, catch of the day! You've been up to some mischief with us, I'll bet. What are you on about, Jasper? I don't know. Wait till you and Ma hears about this. I'm taking this back to my toolbox, and I'll see you at the triple lad. Just be your puppet doing me nothing. Ah! And he said, two pound fifty for parking. And I said, good God, I'm a duck. I wish I'd never asked. Here's one to live by. Never put a shoe in a shoe. Hmm. Oh. 
Huh. I can't believe the cheek of that wee boy. I dread to think the trouble he was up to with this old thing. Anyway, I think I've almost cracked her open. Take a look inside, won't you? See if you can't flush all this muck out. That's your pipes all cleaned out. And I fixed the fryer. <laughs> ah, thanks, lovey. I hope it wasn't too much bother. I'll put you some chippies on. I need bother at all. But where does all that oil drain out to anyway? Oh, I've got no clue, love. Open for business. Morning. Oh dear. Oh, lad's in a right state. Uh, oh, hello there, young man. Thank goodness you are here. I've got this delicious cup of tea here, you see. But uh, I'm afraid it's as black as a bin bag in there. It, it really is. I'd go and get some more milk. I, I would. But the, the, the trouble is, I'm afraid I'm. 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 I'm milk shy. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness you're here, lad. Ah, oh, Bessie's sick as a pig. Chippies usually perk her up, though. Oh, you couldn't go up to Marge's and get us some, could you? the man off. Job. I'll do. Hi there, Mr. and Mrs. Bingy. Very nice to meet you both. Now then, Jack, how about a lager beer? Ah, go on then. Hey, I like him already. Wow, Mrs. Bingy. This is delicious. I've never had pie and swede before. Thank you, Jackalus. Well, what do you normally have with your pie at home, lad? 
Well, usually the pie is big enough on its own. Big enough? Uh -oh. oh, look, please, don't make a fuss. Big enough? No, love, I won't have it. Not under my roof, not on my dinner table. Love, please. I really didn't mean anything by it. You shut your mouth! Oh, damn! And you can shut it and all. No daughter of mine is going with a big pie, man. Good morning. Thank goodness you're here. It's my breakfast time already, and I need some shopping. But I'm bed-bound, and I don't like other hands touching my shopping. Might you be able to assist? I'm in terrible need of a breakfast. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Tell you what, asbestos never gave anybody third degree burns. Uh. I don't know why I even bother. I prefer them cold personally. I thought we were finished for the day, but we've had to come down and sort this out. Again. When am I going to see the back of you, you wee melon head? Uh, actually, I've got just the job for you. Why don't you head down to Price Shaggers and pick us up some spirit level bubbles? <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> <laughs> How does that sound? Right, away you go. I've got it tough, me. Yeah? Ah, we both do. We're tatties. Oh, aye. Yep. Forty to a bed, dirt for breakfast, dirt for dinner. And we also sleep in sacks. Much better, Bessie. And just in time, too. We better be setting off. Though we don't want to miss our special appointment. Oh, I hope we find the place okay. Apparently, it's opposite our little field. The house with the blue door. Oh, here it is. Oh. I'm too nervous to knock. You do it, Bessie. No. You're nervous too? Oh dear, oh dear. We'll be here all day. Ooh. I've never had a bath before. So, do you, do you come here often? This is awfully nice. I got it from a car boot sale. So I went and I, was, I said, that's an awfully strange car boot. And he said, well, it's a hot tub. Thanks for coming. <laughs> 
Sleep it off down the station. Me that pickle be this. Hold on to me, brush. I'm about to piece. Well, what are you wearing? Green dungarees and a flat cap? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Heavens to beetroot. I need to get that fixed. Worms and it's a bag of soil. I said, in arrears? Well, I can try, but it's your wife. the benefit of the doubt.
I'll tell him. <laughs> there you go. He's here now. Here for the spirit level bubbles, is it? Well, you're in luck. We just got a fresh batch in this morning. You're in the back here, look. You'll need this. <laughs> Good luck. I says, it's an oven glove. Where else am I supposed to put it? In the oven. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. Is that real felt? How much? Ten bob. Very reasonable. Oh, do you reckon, love? we still got that cabbage money. <laughs> Is that Bull like Bill? Look, everyone. This young man's caught bootleg Bill. It's more of a cumbling grass, really. Now, now, settle down, settle down. Thanks to this young man's incredible police work, I can safely declare bootlegging in this town has been knocked on the head. Still at large. Oh. Almost out with this one, Charlie. Trivic job, Susan. You'll earn that shilling, yeah.
I feel better already. Only 40 years out of date. We'll take the lot. Hello, shopkeep. Hello. Oh dear, this one's imaginized. All together, that's. Ten bob. Bye bye, shopkeep. Come up, yep, come on through, come on through. That's a public bridal way, this. I'll get you a key cut out, Cole. Well, is it brown on both sides? Right. Is it hot to the touch? Mm -hmm. Well, Brian, it sounds like you've toasted it. No, it's not going to go back. Oh, this is the very last thing I wanted to happen. A whole pack of snails in the garden. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, get away from me. Horrid snail! Oh, there's another one going down the well! Oh dear! Not an easy snack, but 
By God, is the protein worth it? snow, cocktail sausage, down the snorkel. Haven't been able to enjoy a buffet since. Another thrilling installment of the newspaper. A burger a day makes me feel good. Is it? Well, how about I give you two of these? <laughs> Better text you too. Uh, just push it on down by your rock. Uh, 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 
breakfast in bed. Come for tea. Hello, lovey. Just in time for soup. All home, eh? But oh no. It looks as if our cuckoo clock is broken. Oh dear, oh dear. It's really broke. Please won't you help us? Six o'clock. Forget that clock and batch this mole. We need to knock him down the hall. Your gun's fine. Come here instead and help me slice my crusty bread. Spin my grinder round and round. Don't stop until my meat is drowned. I think it's still a little broke. Help us fix our ticky tock. Where have you been, lad? Can't you see? There's 40 moles and one of me. Cherry cut a proper slice, move the handle left and right. Spinning quickly is the key to make the mince for shepherd's tea. That meaty ground come help with this, I need to chop up all my fish. Help me please, I'm in distress, I just can't see with all this mess. Forget that truck, we need you more. There's too much soup spilled on the floor. That's it, young man, you've mocked enough. Now help me chop me tatties up. Help me keep the crime at bay. My job needs stroking every day. Really, Dave, make it quick. Spin us round and make us sick. Hurry <laughs> up and make it tick. Give that filthy mole the stick. Slice the bread and make it thin. Careful now, my arm is in. That's it, young and bash that bloke. Won't you give my dog a stroke? Been there, let's see what I've got. Push until we both fall off. <laughs> Did you not hear what we both said? Bash that mole until it's dead. Cut straight through that lovely crust. I don't feel super, but needs must. Slash me up, it's right in two. Steady on, this bed's brand new. Help us with the sticky floor. I think they need a little more. Hang on, why is it me itself? So? Oh, Reggie's quite unwell. Now we've hit the mother lord. Send us flying down the road! Cut me head off! I'm a fish! Who taught you to drive all this? Looks like money's on the shores. You need to chop some more, of course. Easy now, let's keep it civil. Look at little Reggie dribble. Now I'll come by tea tonight. Send us flying like a kite. Thinks our clock is really broke. Pop the ball, he's in our hall. Brush his head, he's nearly dead. Put the cold until he's dead. Push that box, smush his too. Eat it up, it's good for you. Bang the nail now, please don't force. It's better if you stay with us. Time to tick it, tick it up. Get him, bash him, make him stop. You have the right to get knocked down. Chop that fish till blood comes out. I miss my dad, I miss my mum. In your tummy, yum yum yum. I love the smashy baggy sound. Don't be coy now, stick around. Get the fish in the hole. Eat the sea. Bash the ball. Bash the tattle. Bash the bats. Bash the bats. Bash the bats. the bats.
Oh, there you are, lovey. It should be ready for you now if you'd like to pop in. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm just about to tuck into this delicious Amsani and I've lost the mayoral mustard. been since I saw thee on Il Clemmor Bartat. Where has the been since I saw thee? Where has the been since I saw thee? On Il Clemmor Bartat. On Il Clemmor Bartat. On Il Clemmor Bartat. There's been a court in Mary Jane on Il Clemmor Bartat. There's been a court in Mary Jane. There's been a court in Mary Jane. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. On Il Clemore Bartat. Thou go and get the death of cowed. On Il Clemore Bartat. Thou go and get the death of cow. Thou go and get the death of cow. I'll milk them more about that. I'll milk them more about that. I'll milk them more about that. Then we shall eat the bury thee. On ill clim more bar tat. Then we shall eat the bury thee. Then we shall eat the bury thee. On ill clim more bar tat. On ill clim more bar tat. On ill clim more bar tat. Then twirms will come and eat the hop. On ill clim more bar tat. Then worms will come and eat the hope. Then worms will come and eat the hope. On the play more about that. On the play more about that. On the play more about that. Then 
ducks will come and gobble up worms on ill Plymouth Barcat. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms. Then ducks will come and gobble up worms on ill Plymouth Barcat. On ill Plymouth Barcat. On ill Plymouth Barcat. That's where we get our own back. On ill Plymouth Barcat. That's where we get us on back. That's where we get us on back. That's where we get us on back. On the more about that. On the more about that.